Welcome back to the channel. This week on Cruising Calypso, we round out our What You Can Buy series and focus on boats between 50000 and 75000 Coming up. which I'll link down below in the comments. We had looked at boats ranging from price from 150 to 250,000, from 75,000 to 150,000, and now we're gonna look at boats from 50,000 to 75,000, which to be honest is a really great price point to get into cruising boats. There's a lot of boats available at this price point and we're gonna take a look at just a couple of them. I thought we'd start by taking a quick look at the numbers and seeing what the cost of a $50,000 boat is and a $75,000 boat. You can infer the cost in between those two numbers. So let's see what we have. Using our cruising Calypso cost estimator, we can put in the values that we need to see what we get. So let's start by putting in a boat that's 32 feet long and 11 feet on the beam. And we'll price this boat at $75,000. We're gonna say that we're gonna plan on financing this boat we'll say that we're going to put 20% down, which is pretty normal. And we'll say we're going to keep it on a mooring, which is the most economical way to do it. So let's look at the results. So as you can see, that gives us an overall monthly cost of $915 a month or $10,900 a year. And you can see how the expenses break down between the loan, the cost of the mooring, winter storage, and all the other things. It is important to note here that of the $915, I've got $102 for fuel. So that really makes it um, more like $812 um, a month or a little bit less than $10,000 a year for the boat. So now let's change the numbers to a lower cost boat. Let's change this to $50,000. Make the boat more like 28 feet, which is probably close to what you'll buy for 50,000. 28 footer is a little bit narrower, 10 feet, that ranges. Again, we're gonna finance the boat, and we'll keep it on a mooring. So now you can see the overall monthly cost drops to $716, and you can see the breakdown there. And then once again, I've got the fuel cost built in here, so it would actually lower your monthly cost if you don't incorporate that into your expense. Now to be clear, these are just estimates. Specifically, the fuel cost is an estimate because it's just based on you know, average, which can vary based on boat usage and fuel price in your area. So let's take a look at some boats in this price range. The first boat in our lineup is a 2002 Rampage 30 foot offshore. Now this boat is sort of a mixed fishing slash cruising type boat. As you can see, she's got a nautical styling with a hard top and very classic lines. She's 30 feet overall and is gas powered. The high freeboard of this boat gives her good sea kindliness and the high rails forward make her very safe when you're offshore. Taking a look below, you can see here the uh, cabin layout offers a forward double berth for two a settee to starboard to sleep on, and an enclosed head. The accommodations are perfect for a weekend away or even longer. Her galley has a small single burner stove, a refrigerator, and a sink. As you can see here, that settee I mentioned actually converts to bunk beds with the backrest swinging up and being supported by lines and now you have a double bunk here to sleep for the kids. This rampage lists for $60,000 which is within our fifty dollars to $75,000 range. So let's take a look at our next boat. Very different here, a 1998 Cruisers 3650 aft cabin. This boat is also gas, she's 34 feet long, but in this case now we have an aft cabin cruiser with a flying bridge and aft sun deck. 
Boats of this style offer a lot of room for their size. Is you have a forward cabin and an aft cabin separated by the salon amidships, giving you decent privacy as you cruise. As you can see, her flybridge offers space for dining and entertainment as you're underway. And her helm offers all the instrumentation that you need, need and one seat for the pilot. Her aft deck offers space to put freestanding chairs and entertain. Moving below, you can see she has a decent sized salon with a settee to port and room to starboard for chairs and a television. Forward, you can see there is a dinette opposite the galley. Her forward stateroom has a double berth and storage below. Her aft cabin has a nice double berth for two as you can see, plenty of floor space and headroom, which is typical of boats of this size. Again, powered by a pair of Mer cruisers, cruisers, she is reasonably economical, will move along at a decent speed, probably 18 to 20 knots, and get you where you need to go. This boat is priced at 75000 which is at the top of our range. Our last boat, coming in again at around $60,000, is the Sea Ray 340 Sundancer. In my view, this is one of the best values on the market today. This boat offers plenty of size for a small family. She's fast enough to get you where you want to go, but she's not too big to be easily handled. She has decent room below and has excellent good looks, and there are enough of them made that you can find them in many areas of the country. So diving in a little deeper, the 340 Sundancer, like all Sundancers, has the classic express yacht style boat. In other words, she has an open cockpit, a radar arch, often with a canvas bimini over the driving station. She has room for a captain and a navigator at the helm with all the controls necessary that you need. Depending on the year boat you get, the electronics will either be original or have been updated. You can see here the cockpit has opposing settees with room for a table in between and a cockpit door leading to the swim platform. Down below she has a double sized bed all the way forward and with storage galley to port and a dinette to starboard. The galley consists of a decent sized refrigerator, a cooktop and a sink along with a microwave. You can see the TV and this one has been updated to a flat screen. She's powered usually by 7.4 liter um, V8s and often with a gas generator. These engines will power her along nicely e at about 20 to 21 knots. Headroom below is generous and the mid cabin and the forward cabin have privacy curtains to give you a little separation from the main cabin. For those of you who follow the channel, you know that our first Clipso 1 was a 310, which was just a slightly smaller version of this boat um, and also gave us decent room, but the 340 is definitely a, a greater value when it comes to cruising. It's important to note that anytime you are searching for a used boat, you want to take the time to find a good, clean example. And by that, I mean one that has been well taken care of, one that has had regular maintenance, because is buying a boat that might be the cheapest one on the market and may not be the best well-maintained will come back to haunt you. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're in the market for a boat from 50000 to 75000 check it out. And as always, put comments down below. If you have any questions, we're always here to help you out. See you on the next one. Thank you.